more Chino. I'm really dizzy now, and probably so are you. I'm sorry. I totally didn't just spend a significant amount of time setting up the wrong computer and then realizing I set up the wrong computer. Anyway, this is my Dell Optiplex 980. Uh, mine? Yes, mine. <laughs> some of these are mine, some of these aren't. I can't always remember which ones I have a home. This one does not. This is totally in the air as to what where this belongs. But this was my personal computer for a while. It's not in its current state, so when I used it, it had 8 gigabytes of DDR3 something or other. The current cooling configuration, I don't really care about that. Um, not this, this is an ATI Radeon 3450 maybe? I don't know. It had my GTX 750 Ti in here. This was a great computer. It's CPU was kind of a little underpowered, but it was the first computer I ever had that was really capable of much of anything. So yeah, it was great. Oh, it's an i5-660, I should probably go over that. Um, just one step up from the 5... the... yeah, the i3-550 in the... in GNU right now. But yeah, the great thing about this computer is... Relatively speed. Hold on. Let me. Are you off? No, you're not off. Turn off. Let me unplug the loud things. Relatively speaking, and you probably won't be able to even hear right now because it is loud outside. Let me at least turn my fan off. There's still a generator running or something outside, so it's still loud. Anyway, thing is, it's quiet, really quiet. When I used it, the loudest thing in it was the 750Ti, and I mean the 750Ti isn't exactly noisy. Um, it's not currently posting, so that's great. Everything's plugged in, right? This is the right monitor cable. This is the right monitor cable. Why aren't you posting? I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, if it would post. I loved this computer. It was quiet. Now, when I started GNU, I didn't have this machine. It was still somewhere. I can't really remember where it was. I don't actually remember be it being used for anything in between when I had it and now. Anyway, it was somewhere, I think, so. oh, 2-4, I wonder what that is. It was somewhere, someone had it, it wasn't, I didn't have access to it, but now I do. Now it has nothing where it needs to be. How does this front panel come off? Well, that's not how it comes off. Whatever. So, yeah, now I have a really quiet computer, like... Really quiet. And Gina is just sitting here... I, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Like, I'm not even sure I could get GNU as quiet as this thing is. Um, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But, in the time being, for the time being, I'm going to figure out why this won't post, because now I'm curious. And one day, I'll memorize the tables for uh, postcodes on Dells, but today is not that day. Okay, 2-4 is a possible graphics card failure. Let me mute that real quick. Well, actually, let's use a one velocity, so technically I could keep playing. But anyway, 2-4 is a possible graphics card failure, according to the Dell table things. Yay! 
Aw, that's sad. I only own a few 3450s. And even though the 3450 is very weak, it's actually well, it's the third most powerful I own. And I think I only own two, because they came in the 980s. And there's another one over there. And actually, technically, I don't own that one, but I'd probably swap that one for a something. A 3430, I think, is what I have in all of those, which I'd probably swap into that one, just because it doesn't need a 3450. For, what, for where it's going. Anyway, yeah, this is dead. I am sad. Oops. I'm gonna try to take it out and put it back in again. I'm gonna try to see if that adapter's dead. But none of those things are likely, and I'd be really sad if that adapter was dead because it's a really useful adapter. It's DisplayPort to VGA. Anyway, let's, let's find out. That is not a 3450. I don't know why I kept calling it. It's in a drawer now, but I don't know why I kept calling it a 3450. That should be a 5450. A different thing. What is in all of those, the little 980s, should be 3450s. And I have a lot of those, and I have an idea to do with all of those, and it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, this computer. Oh gosh. So... I have not tested it yet, but I just swapped this onto integrated. It's an i5, so it should have integrated graphics. It doesn't power on if you don't plug in the power, Logan. Fun fact. Okay. Uh, hey! Uh, revision 16A. That needs a new BIOS. We're on like 22. Uh, um, okay. So I'm gonna have to remember how to use BIOS password reset jumpers in Adele, which I have no idea how to use in, uh, in 2007s to 2012s. I can do it in a 2005 to 2007. But this series, I can't remember how. Yay! I wonder if just clearing the CMOS will do it. Actually, I don't even know how to clear the CMOS in this computer. Oh, gosh. Okay. Thank you, Dell, for making this more difficult than it needs to be. Why is there a password on this computer? This was my personal computer, I know for a fact, because it has the residue from the EVGA sticker right there. So, what? I don't understand. It definitely wants a password though, so... Let's try to reset that. Okay, apparently password reset. On, an, on this computer is actually incredibly simple. Just move the jumper right there. Plug it in. And turn it on. And then you wait a second. It'll probably spit an error at me. I have no idea what it's going to do. Yeah, there you go. The device found. HCI BIOS not installed. Turn that off. And I put the password jumper back. Oh, wow. That chipset is hot. And then I turn the power on. I guess the chipset isn't getting any airflow because the side of the case is not on. Should probably set up a fan there. And I turn that on, and HCI BIOS is not installed. That would be a problem, but the pa BIOS password is gone. That's the same problem I had on this one. That is what? Um. Oh 
Okay. Why is so many problem? So I figured I should probably talk about the problem of this being more silent first. Um, so if this was just, whoa, oh Paul. If this was just a personal project, then I would probably abandon, abandon, um, GNU right now. Like, I have a, I have a silent computer now. The issue is, some of you, and by some I mean anectic, seem to really be enjoying Project GNU, so I don't really know what to do. So I've thought about different things I could do with GNU, like, um, possibly overclocking on a different motherboard, because none of these are overclocking motherboards, and obviously not an i5-550 either, because that does don't chew on the cables, blue. Obviously not a 550, because that doesn't overclock. Actually, does not does a 550 overclock? I can't remember if that's before or after Dell locked everything but K-SKUs. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna close this door so Kitten does not escape. Anyway, um... So I don't, I don't really know. I don't know if I want to abandon GNU entirely and do something different. I don't know if I want to make a silent... make another silent... make a third. Third, third, silent computer anyway. I don't know what I would want to do. I have this ridiculously beefy cooler here. I have this silent computer here, which actually has less cooler. And the 660 and 550 are the same uh, TDP. So, yeah. Don't chew on the cord. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know where that kitten is going. Don't hurt yourself. I'm gonna find out what this, what's up with this BIOS thing. Yeah. There it feels as the third morning and the coast and the wind key to continue mumble 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 I don't care. So I don't know why, but I'm I'm gonna get this computer to work. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Uh, lots of random stuff I don't care about. Okay, one really, really interesting thing about the i5-660. It is 3.33 recurring, meaning it's three and a third gigahertz. I, I don't really know why it felt the need 3.33 recurring, but it did. Okay, what is installed right now? A lot of stuff I don't care about. Okay, whatever. That needs a new BIOS because that bi this BIOS is old. Boot sequence I don't care drives. Is that an operation? Why is RAID on? Never mind, I don't care. Drives. Just set a zero. Fly. Please. Mouse, please. Okay. And I have I have a fan clipped here to cool this chipset here. Because when the computer is open, that chipset doesn't get the airflow it really should. So yeah. Hey, look at that. Uh, which do I want? Let's do Windows 7 for the time being. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, it appears to be working. Yay. And if that fix was that easy, I think I can fix this motherboard. So that's fine. Yeah, I, I probably should have said that in the beginning, is I believe I can fix this motherboard. 
Now I may have fried this i3-550, but that's fine, whatever. <laughs> I believe I have another one somewhere. Okay, that's not a good sound. Um, start windows normally. Oh, that's probably because RAID is on, and this is not, yeah. Because Dell BIOS is a broken and weird. Yep, that didn't look good. Okay, let's turn RAID off. See if that helps. This is too loud. There we go. That's better. Drives. Set of operation. HDI or ATA? HDI. Set of operation. Apply. Exit. Let's see if this works now. Oh, you know, that would be a problem. I should fix that. What a badge with my full name on it. <laughs> From a thing right there, that was not smart. Okay. Seven. Start windows normally. If you've killed my only seven install, then I'm gonna be mad. No, oh, that looks good. That's got farther than it did last time. Wonder how much of this. Okay. Check for consistent. You can cancels. Check disk. All right, a drive may be dying, which would actually be really bad because I am running out of drives really quickly. I have a whole lot more computers than I have drives. I don't think any of those ones there have drives. I know that one does not. I know that one of those two does, but I can't remember which one. That does not. That's not actually a computer. That's just a case, and those don't. Obviously none of those do, because none of those work. And then there are like... A few drives in here. That's all the drives I have. Which is not enough. So yeah. While that runs check disk for the rest of time, I'm gonna go do something else. Yay! So, this is it, for now at least. A Dell Optiplex 980 equipped with an i5-660, an ATI Radeon 3450, 4 gigs of RAM, some other stuff I don't care about, as well as a 1TB Seagate Barracuda, and a 256 gig Seagate Barracuda. So why have I suddenly changed what I'm doing? Well, I can't really continue GNU the same way I was. I have some really great plans for it, but they require some other projects to be completed, and I would like to record those, and they will take quite a while. So I am more officially putting GNU on hold, and this is kind of, sort of, it being done. It will keep its name for the rest of the series, but it will be a while before you see another episode of GNU itself. Now, I should have more episodes of random other things leading up to GNU at some point in the future, and hopefully at some point soon in the future, but yeah, this is all I can really do for now. Regardless, that's the end of this video, so I hope you have a good day, and I guess I'll see you again sometime.